Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> this is a video in terms of how to sort of apply thermal paste professionally. Um, I did a video previously, um, and it was a very short review on an Asus uh, ROG Streak Z370 Mini ITX motherboard. And I also had a Intel 8700K uh, processor, and I applied a bit of a thermal paste just on the basis of sort of, uh, well, for testing purposes, basically, um, and to make sure that the board is powering up before sort of finalising the final build. So effectively what that means is that I would have, I would have taken it off and then sort of nice and, uh, nicely apply a, a thin layer of thermal paste. Um, so I didn't have the time to sort of get on and, and, and do it properly, but hence I needed to test and make sure that the board and the CPU uh, is powering up. And there was a lot of slagging off and bitching off on, 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 on the video saying I don't know Jack and I don't know how to do this, how to do that uh, in terms of applying thermal paste. Um, so I thought that I'll, I'll, I'll prove all the uh, trolls wrong by sort of showing how to, how to sort of apply uh, thermal paste professionally um, and, and uh, we'll, we'll just sort of uh, take it from there. Now one other thing I would like to point out is that a lot of reviews uh, on, on, on uh, sort of, uh, well a lot of methods are shown on YouTube uh, completely bonkers because uh, even, even to a point with all due respect I have a lot of, I have a huge respect for Linus Tech team. I have seen them sort of making the same mistake um, and when I say making the same mistake, they're literally applying, um, and it's not just them, there's many others, and the other, you know, apply, applying the same method, uh, and I'm sure I'm going to show you on method one that how they do it, and the method two of how I do it. Um, yes, I'm using cheap Chinese crap just for this demonstration, I'm not going to be using the Actix MX, what I use for my repair. So this does not get used on repair, this is only for me messing about, basically. Um, this is what I use, and the shelf life or the durability once it's applied is up to eight years. Um, this is the old packaging of the MX4, and these tubes are the new packaging. I have large quantities of them, I have bought a handful of them, and I have it somewhere. Just to prove a point. There we go, they're all packaged, and there are two, two, uh, 20 gram each tube, and I've got about 100 gram here. Okay, and they're wrapped up. Okay, so let's crack on with the uh, video. So what I'm going to do is, like with others I have seen, I'm going to apply a little thermal paste with the size of a rice grain. Okay, we'll do that. Now I totally understand the dies and the centre part of this heat spreader, but there is a reason why the heat spreader is so big, um, is to dissipate the heat better. So when you apply the thermal paste like this and put the heat spreader on, let's see what happens. And I'm not slagging off anybody. I'm not slagging off. We, we learn every day. We learn every day. You know, we live and learn. So I'm not slagging anybody off. It's just I'm showing you how to do it properly. And the problem what we have in this generation, in this part time of life, is that what I've noticed is every time when somebody does something, Trolls are just bombarding, basically, without even thinking or without even asking. Oh, right, okay, why have you done the way you've done this? Would have would have been a much better approach than saying, oh, fuck, effing hell, this guy doesn't know Jack. <laughs> the guy, guy's just nuts at applying. There was a purpose why I did what I did. I was in a bit of a rush to try and sort of make sure that the board and CPU is powering up before sort of finalising the build. And therefore, what I did, the way I did, was maybe wrong, but... This is the proper way of doing it. So let's apply. Yeah, happy with this? This is how it's done by big, big cut review guys on YouTube. And I repeat myself, I am not slagging anybody off. If that's how they're comfortable with, so be it. Heat spreader on, happy. Take it off. Okay, brilliant. However, it hasn't covered the entire surface, has it? No, it hasn't. And I'm not happy with that. 
I don't think that that's how it should be done, basically. So how it should be done is I'm going to leave that as it is. Yes, I am applying a little bit more, but I'm going to scrape off. I'm going to, I'm going to build a thin layer on the surface of the entire die to ensure that I'm not missing any of the areas like what's happened here basically on the method one. So what I'm doing now is a method two. I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean. I mean recently we had an issue on, on, on uh, our street um, and uh, a lady posted something. Regarding an uh, regarding a uh, dispute, not with myself, with a friend of mine, um, and uh, I I was absolutely disgusted to see that there were over ten thousand comments, and vast majority of the comments without you without even looking at the constructive evidence, without even looking at the the the, the situation in full. The trolls have started bombarding with hatred, racial comments and so and so forth. You know, I mean, we, we believe that racists don't exist. And unfortunately, I'll tell you something, racism does exist to an extreme point. You know, I mean, with, with thanks to the social media, the, 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 you can actually see the, the real deal of, of, of people in the community, you know, and how, how awkward that they can be. Anyway, I'm going to stick to this subject. I can carry on with, with, with that topic all day long. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little spreader here. You can use a credit card, just bend it so it's easier for you to sort of... I think it's just, just, just a tiny little bend like that, so it's easy for you to sort of uh, spread. Okay, now what I'm going to do... Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yes, it looks a lot. That's absolutely fine. Just press down on the card. Any excess you can sort of, uh, if you can see what I'm doing, just want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. on the thermal paste, let's just all I'm doing is just creating a very thin layer now no it's not going to be, let me zoom out because I don't think it's going to be in the camera's uh, view properly Unfortunately, this card is not big enough. I did have a card somewhere in my drawer that is bigger than this uh, CPU. So as you're spreading, the edge is not rubbing off like what it's doing here. And I'm quite happy with this. And this is how the thermal paste should be applied. Okay, and let's see what happens when we put the, uh, the heat, heat spreader back on. I mean, obviously the results are going to be the same as... Not the same as before, but... What I meant is, let me just zoom out, what I meant is the fact that uh, the uh, the thermal paste will be equally distributed on, on, on the uh, underside of the heat spreader um, in conjunction with how it was initially on top of the CP, the, the heat spreader on the CPU. So uh, let's take this off. Okay, and this is what you get. So there's there's no spot where you've actually missed, um, and and this is this is better for 
in terms of uh, dissipating heat from the CPU onto the heat spreader rather than just using a small uh, rather than applying a small rice grain um, so yes people the point I'm trying to make is that please look before you start sort of making silly comments uh, everybody likes to have a laugh but laugh at something that's legitimately funny but not just sort of sort of you know ma making fun out of things that you don't even bloody know yourself how 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 it's all done properly so i bet that you, a lot of you that were sort of trolling me on that video probably thought oh you only apply a little hair hair hairline sort of a like, like a rice grain size of a thermal paste well unfortunately if you if you did you've been proven wrong so i should be the one that would be laughing at you basically but anyway anyway Right, gent, people, I've got to post now. I've got to go. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.